like spring, but looks like winter. Here's what's happening at Utopia Farms today. I guess they're free range lambs. Are you hungry or are you looking for a hug? And that's why we top them up early. We had two Suffolk stuck under the other side yesterday. First thing I noticed this morning was that a couple of rams were actually outside. But I see it's only one at the doorway and two have ventured outdoors. I think they're enjoying the lap of luxury. So like on most farms, the days start with the morning checks and rounds, making sure everyone's okay. This is the pen with the door set and the suffolk. Everyone looks good in here. We let the suffolk out yesterday if you followed along. No problems in this pen. They're all fed their hay. The triplets are all here looking spry. Hi, you guys. You're looking good today. And mommy's looking good too. So next on the agenda, if you follow, you know, is to feed the dastardly bottle babies at the back of the barn here. Here's Ernie getting some hay ready. Here's my buddies <laughs> greeting me at the gate. Because every single one of them can get out. Because as you can see, the reason they're getting out, it's not because they're escape artists. It's because the bedding pack is level with the feeder. So it's just like a <laughs> creep gate. <laughs> There's no difference. So... These guys have learned to be free roamers. I guess they're free range lambs. Okay, you free rangers. Free rangers or free loaders? Pretty good. They all did unassisted. And this is why the rams are in here. Because it's a controlled climate. And they're out of the weather. Scotty, you were a little aggressive yesterday. Yeah, you're a little aggressive yesterday. Okay, so this barn's all fed. Just gonna see if the triplets wanna
topping up and then we'll head on over to the coveralls. for a hug. I can never tell with you. So you can see uh, this little male, he runs up to me right away. He's the one who drinks the most. But when I say he drinks the most, none of them are drinking a lot because they definitely are getting milk off mom. Although you look pretty hungry this morning, as they get older and they require more milk, sharing milk from one teat is going to mean they're going to drink more and more from me. And that's why we top them up early so that they understand the bottle, understand me, and that way they will stay well fed all the time. ever seen him drink but you see his brother right then was trying to have some of the bottle too and what the little lamb did was he stopped nursing and he clamped down on the nipple and that's what they do on the mother too they clamp down and believe me any of you who've had baby anything baby teeth are very very sharp and if a lamb clamps down on its mom's nipple very quickly he's going to destroy the udder and that's why um, topping up sheep with multiples is a good thing because they tend not to fight over the nipple so much because everybody's always pretty well full like there's no desperation to run in when she calls them and this guy see the the little one, he drank, I would say, two-thirds of a bottle. This guy, who was wanting to fight and get him off the bottle, basically, he's, he's playing with me. So he's got his mouth on the nipple, but he, he's not drinking. He's, what he's wanting is the extra love and attention. He knows that feeding a bottle comes with that, don't you? You know that. Do you want more? No, not really. It's just a fun thing to chew on. Yeah, I thought so. We'll try sister. <laughs> See, sister does the run because she's the one who nurses the most. But there you go. She's taking a bottle too. But I don't want them to do that little run thing because in a big pen, that can often lead, lead to um, a chase. And we don't want to be chasing lambs. Mom, could you be a little more in my way? Mom, move up. Would you like a little more? And you see, those other two basically drank nothing. So, they're done. Off to the coveralls. This is the first of our three coveralls. 
So we've got dorsets on this side, the young ones at the front and the older ones at the back. And in here we have the suffix. We have a couple of dorsets in here. But they're in here um, because they were in the bottle baby group. So while Arnie feeds the moms a bale of hay, I'm going to clamber over to the bottle area and feed the bottle babies. barn with bottle babies. These ones are going to be weaned very shortly now. And we have some lamb sheep that are growing too big for the creep area and some of them are getting stuck under the feeders so today I got to go through under all the feeders to make sure nobody's stuck under there. This side shouldn't be too bad because there's not much bedding pack here, but we had two Suffolk stuck under the other side yesterday. And this is the side that has no bottle babies. My favorite pen. And they just eat regular feed. Is that you there? Sitting with her front feet out on her rump. 
So, I don't have a marker with me, but to my knowledge, that's a perfect uh, sign of, uh, of a pregnant ewe. Only sheep that lay like that are pregnant ewes. And I can see if she has another. Do you have another girl? Okay. Okay. Move a little bit. Do you have another? Yeah, that sheep probably is still pregnant yet. They don't lay like that unless they're, uh, they've got heavy lambs in them. But... I'm just checking these guys because there are, like Lynn says, there's quite a few of these that have others underneath them. For some reason, they just uh, skipped the whole cycle and they're sitting to, to a last cycle. So, anyways, yeah, that, uh, it's hard to tell with that dorset right, right, right uh, there standing. It's got quite a large other underneath it. We had a surprise from a ewe. The, one of the stragglers had a ewe lamb from Gladiator. She's here, she's doing well. She's a first timer. She did have twins. Um, we didn't know she was in labor, so we weren't there. So we don't know what happened to the other one. If it had a bad birth, but it was born dead or it was in the sack or whatever. So she only has one, but it's a nice female. It's sleeping right now. And that's why it's important uh, to really watch your sheep. Because if you can, it always helps to be around when they're lambing. Because a sack over the nose um, can suffocate a lamb in just under a minute. So even if you're there, it can happen. Look at, we got ice on all my stuff again. And we were hoping things would clear up, but it's a terrible windstorm again. I'm in a sheltered spot by the house, but it's just craziness. And it's nasty. So, I'm heading in for to make dinner and we're gonna just cut this short today. It's just been a terrible past few days for weather. Okay, so Arnie's just come in for dinner. Straightening out my hair. Well, yeah, because last time it was such a bad hair day. I haven't washed it for a while. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Apologize for my dirty hair. Really, Arnie? Anyway, <laughs> since we came in early, it's a warm, dinner tonight. In for those who always ask, tonight's meal is chicken, breaded chicken mayonnaise with broccoli and onions and mashed potatoes. Is that chicken or fish? Didn't I say it was chicken? Okay. And Arnie likes pepper. I so little... he smeared his smeared pepper all over his potatoes. I like a hot meal. What else do you like hot? You. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> we're gonna call that a day <laughs> and go eat din din. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>